What do you make of Captain Slane? Slane? Sure, he's a bastard to his enemies, lad. But he's always paid his bills on time. Fair enough. What do you do for fun, Wilson? What do you mean, fun? Well, everyone's got a passion. Not me. All I care about... Oh, never mind. Maybe I should spare me a second glance and... She? Come on, spill the beans. That's none of your damn business. Bit of a dark horse, aren't you? You lost a pistol, Wilson? How'd you know about that? I know where it is now. Well then, where? That old pistol means a lot to me. Speak up, or I'll loosen your tongue with me branding iron. You must have really pissed on me off. That asshole. He says I owe him gold. Well, do you? Depends how you look at it. I gave him my pistol to repair. Only he won't give it back until I paid him what he says I owe. I'll get your pistol back. Henri won't just stand it over. Especially not if all you're gonna do is give it back to me. Here's your pistol, back from the gunsmith. My lovely piece. I got you back at last. I won't let you out of my sight ever again, my beauty. Thank you, lad. Truly, I'm in your debt. I helped you, now it's your turn. Sounds fair enough to me, lad. What is it you want? I need... Cannons. In that case, I'll send some down to the quayside, so you can choose exactly the ones you want. You breathe one word of this to the Admiral, mind. My lips are sealed. You make sure they stay that way. Don't worry, it'll be our little secret. Good.
Let me try again. If you want, but I doubt it'll make any difference. Still, if you insist. Ready, steady, allez! What a pity, if not a surprise. Welcome to Antigua, Captain. Hope your voyage here was a safe one. Good day, fair lady. Ah, oh, a gentleman with manners. What a pleasant surprise. Call me Grace. Perhaps you've heard of my father, the famous merchant, Bongard of the Thorn Coast? A pirate. How exciting. It's been some time since we've had one of them here. And now we have the honor of welcoming two of you to our city. So, you enjoy a bit of pirate company, eh? What's that supposed to mean? If you mean I enjoy the company of refined and well-traveled gentlemen, then yes, I do. Wait, did I say something wrong here? Well, if that's as much as an apology as I'll get from a pirate, so be it. This other pirate, where is he? With the Admiral. Shouldn't disturb them, though. They seem to be having some kind of argument. Perhaps you'd like to spend some time with me instead. Seems nice round here. If by nice you mean fat, then I wholeheartedly agree. If only some rich and dashing sea captain would take me away from all this. If you don't like it here, you could always leave. And risk all kinds of dreadful forms of molestation on the high seas? No thanks. You mean when every low rogue in the place isn't making a proper advance? In that case, it's probably only improper if they came up from I'm fortunate that the good Admiral guarantees my safety. So the Admiral is your guardian? but we have a... an understanding. I'm free to come and go as I please. And to have understandings with other people? And what's that supposed to mean? Only that he must indeed be a kind and generous fellow. Listen, Sunshine. Don't fucking push it. The Admiral. What's he like? Surprisingly civilized for an ex-pirate. A man of honor, even. Such a rarity. He founded this place and appointed himself as protector. To him, the creed is the most important thing he follows. You should remember that. How well do you know Captain Slane? Ah, Captain Slane. Such a fine gentleman. He really knows how to treat a lady with the respect she deserves. He can steer a course towards my harbor any time he wants. Listen, about that Smith, Wilson. That penniless oaf. What's he got to do with you? He sent you here, didn't he? Typical. He sent you here to beg on his behalf, didn't he? How pathetic. What are you? A pirate or an errand boy? It couldn't hurt to ask, could it? I'll show you something that will hurt. How dare you, sir? I'm a lady. Fallen on hard times and need to make extra cash. How ungentlemanly.
Come on, you've been helping out a gentleman in need. If you had a word with him and explained things to him... Well, perhaps, but it'll cost you. One thousand gold and I'll be willing to forget this slur on my honor. A thousand? Just for... Yes? You were going to add some ungallant and impertinent remark. Me? Never. Perhaps there's a way we can help each other. After all, I do hate to see a lady in distress. Keep talking and listening. Well, it's about our mutual friend Wilson. I like the sound of this. Five hundred gold, and we're in business. Have a lot of gentlemen friends, do you? What kind of question is that to ask a lady? The kind that tells you how much of a lady they really are. Why, oh, you really are a bold young man, aren't you? Suits me. Here's your gold. You'd better be off and see Wilson. Tell him I'll be there in a moment. But I've got a reputation to protect. Not a word about this to anyone, you promise? Gentleman's honor. Gentlemen, don't make me laugh. Here. What do you want? To go in? Not a chance. Orders is orders. I'm a pirate captain and I demand entry. Admiral Alvarez and Captain Slane are in a meeting. Yes, and I should be in there with them. You should. Where can I get supplies in Antigua? Looking for trade. Admiral Alvarez has put a stop to all that, technically. Technically? Some kinds of business he'll never be able to stop. You can get just about everything your heart desires, if you know where to look. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Just about everything. Can you be more specific? Whatever turns you on, so. What do you do all day? All day? Not a lot. What I do all night is more interesting. Is it now? I stay up all night. The question is, Hanson, can you? Is there anything you can teach me? What I'm best at, you don't want to learn. But I can teach you the power of persuasion. Where can I do business? Normal business, I mean. A girl like me doesn't give anything for free. Fifty gold buys my time. You're one hell of a woman. A head for business and a body for sin. Oh, that's sweet. In your case, handsome, I'll give you a freebie. I heard that Admiral Alvarez found a treasure map. Guess it might be at the captain's house. Or you could try your luck at the graveyard or Blood Oath Square. Thanks for your help. Anytime you want a red hot tip, darling, you know where to come. About that merchant. What about food? Most things you can find in the wild. Ask Bill, he knows his way around out there. You'll find him at the city's back gate. Show me how to be persuasive. What did you have in mind? Where can I get a real drink around here? It's a pirate town. Try the tavern. Of course. Dumb question, right? Pretty much. Little bird tells me you've got a soft spot for grace. What? Who said so? Is it true? Since you ask, I'm not without affection for the lady in question. 
That plus you want to jump the birds, right? I spoke to Grace about you. You did? Whoa, 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 what did she say? She wants to meet you. She does? But that's... That's incredible! How the hell did you do it? No, 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 I don't want to know. I'd best go put on my pudding pants, sled. Yeah, i give that old chief of mine a good rinse out. I'd have some of them rhino horn pills left. You! What do you want here? To talk to Captain Slane. Well, he ain't here, is he? You want him? He's at the captain's house, other end of the city. But he's busy negotiating with the Admiral. You crew here? Certainly do, and glad of it. Ship's cook, me. Responsible for keeping them all well fed. Not that I ever get much thanks for it, of course. Nice ship you've got there. It gets the job done. Do you mind if I take a look around? Help yourself. Thanks. I will.
Drop the act, sweetheart. We both know you're no lady. Only Bongard of the Thorn Coast I ever heard of was a one-eyed pimp who got stabbed to death for cheating at dice. Clever little bastard, aren't you? But a pirate? Why do I get the feeling I'm not the only one here pretending to be something they ain't? How's business? Terrible. Slim pickings all round. Other than Captain Slane, you're the only half-decent prospect to arrive in ages. And no offense, dear, but you're not exactly a prize catch. Still, if you're looking for the company of a lady... Well, maybe not now, but... But maybe not ever, he's spoken for. I am? I mean... I am. Yes, that's always how it is, isn't it? The good ones are usually taken. Well, I'm sure you'll find someone soon. Here? It's a major accomplishment to find someone with the brains to wipe their arse without instructions. Leave it out. That's enough, Slain. We had a deal. I kept my part of our bargain, now it's your turn. You'll get your tribute in time. Right now, though, all I can give you is the booty from my last raid. A deal's a deal, Slain. You won't squirm your way out of things this time. If your honor's worth anything to you, you'll settle your debt once and for all. Honor. You're always droning on about that. It really is getting quite boring, you know. I don't have the sacrificial knife here, and shouting at me won't change that. Think I can't tell when you're lying? What if I have my men search your ship? How long before they found the thing hidden away somewhere on board? Careful, old man. Don't pick a fight you can't win. You're threatening me in the city I built. I control everything here, as you're now finding out. Think about that. While your ship's planks grow moss, and whatever water you've got left aboard her turns foul and undrinkable. Old fool, can't you see we're all running out of time? The trade embargo will remain slain until you hand over the sacrificial knife. That is my final word. Well now, if it isn't the new captain. Looking a little green around the gills there, sport. You were expecting me? I saw your boat. Not a bad little tub, I have to say. Can it be true that Steelbeard let you join his crew? It's true. In fact, he gave me command of his vessel. Just before he died. Impossible! I was there when it happened. If you saw it happen, how can I deny that it did? If Mara was too strong even for Steelbeard, things are worse than I thought. No one's invincible. That bitch Mara, she'll pick us off one by one. She'll wait and wait and then strike when she's ready. You're a hard man to find. You were looking for me then? Aye. And it's taken me long enough. Well, you found me now, sport. Just be thankful I was still here. I'd have been back on the high seas before long. But Alvarez won't let you leave. Eavesdropping, will you? Bad show, sport. I could hardly miss it. I'm here to talk about an artifact. The sacrificial knife. My artifact, you mean? All right, let's talk. But not here. Better we speak aboard my vessel. Follow me. The walls have ears, if you get my meaning. You mean Alvarez has spies? Not so loud. Come on. What 
is it with you and Alvarez? The Admiral is mightily annoyed with yours truly. We had a deal, which I reneged upon, thereby breaking the creed. Now Alvarez thinks it is within his right to take the knife from me. How can he force you to give it up? By keeping my ship here in his harbor until I give it to him. It has power and he wants it. Where is it? Somewhere safe. How safe? Very safe. Trust me. Come, we can speak some more at the quayside. The sacrificial knife, where is it? Hidden on an island, not too far away. So you see, I couldn't give it to Alvarez even if I wanted to. We have to destroy Mara. Easier said than done, Sport. Don't forget what happened to poor old Steelbeard. Without the knife, we don't stand a chance against him. You sound in awe of her. That's because I know how powerful she is, Sport. She could crush you like a bedbug in a fat whore's mattress. That's why we have to join forces. You can talk the talk, Sport, but what have you actually done? I killed Crow and took his artifact. Really? My apologies, Sport. Perhaps I underestimated you. This changes everything. Why didn't you say something sooner? You didn't ask. Well, my congratulations. Mara's afraid of the artifacts. With them, we might stand a better chance. I have to admit, it's tempting. You must be madder than fleas on a rabid dog. But I like your style. Count me in, sport. Looks like we're on. There's still one problem that needs fixing first. Alvarez. Yes. Without supplies, my ship can't move from the harbor. What's your deal with Alvarez? It's not much of a story. Alvarez fitted up my ship. In return, he wanted the knife. He knows I buried it, but he doesn't know where. So he won't let me sail, not till I hand it over. Can't we talk to Alvarez? I've already told him I don't have the knife, but will he listen? Of course not. He's as stubborn as a mule with stone hooves. No, forget Alvarez. It's the city trades when we have to work on. Get them to break the embargo and sell us supplies. Do you think you can persuade them? Why can't you do it? Every trader in town knows I broke with the creed. None of them will sell me so much as a rusty nail. You, on the other hand, you supply my vessel. I'll take us to the island where I buried the knife. Do we have a deal, sport? What do you need, exactly? A new cannon and powder kegs with me. Lost a portside cannon in a skirmish not so long ago. Careless of you. Careless of the portside cannoneer, more like. Had to fire the fellow out of the starboard cannon to teach him to be more careful. Well, we won't get far without drinking water and a few barrels of fresh fish. Oh, yes. And a new helmsman. What happened to the last one? Jones, insubordinate type got on my nerves too much. So he took a little trip over the side, a mite unfortunate, and leaving me in need of a replacement. Still, it's not like we'll have any spare time once we've sailed. Not aboard any ship of mine, sport. Hard discipline and harder work is how you stay in command. Take my former helmsman Jones, for example. He started contradicting my orders, so over the side he went. Is that everything? Everything I can't risk going to see without. All right, I'm on it. I'll get the stuff you need. Excellent. I'll be on my ship, waiting. Come and find me when you've got everything. One more thing. Fire away, sport. Do you need any particular kind of cannon? Why? Have I got a choice? Wilson the armor is a decent craftsman. I think I could get him to make something special. Anything that helps blow second assholes into protectors will be good. Well, it's being delivered. Good work, Sport. I'm impressed. Do you need the supplies loaded onto your ship? 
No, the quayside will do fine. My crew can take it from there. Okay. Slane's got himself in big trouble with the Admiral. Guess he didn't like taking orders. What now? He wants to lead us to another island where the sacrificial knife's hidden. Then I say it all worked out. Let's go. Not yet. He won't cast off until he's got his ship equipped. Then hurry up. Not looking to settle down and raise crops, you know. Mm. 